Hello everyone, myself Jyoti Vikhe from Mona Road Institute of Pharmacy, Sonoy. In this presentation, I am going to discuss a topic that is antioxidant. Let us quickly have a look on content of presentation. Firstly, we will see the definition for antioxidants, then ideal properties for antioxidant, classification of antioxidant, selection of inorganic antioxidants, mechanism of action for the antioxidants, and various monographs like the hypophosphorus acid, sulfur dioxide, sodium bisulfite, sodium metabisulfite, sodium thisulfate, nitrogen, and sodium nitride. Let's see the definition. The antioxidants are the agent which inhibit the oxidation and are commonly used to prevent the rancidity of oils and fats or deterioration of the other materials through the oxidative processes. The antioxidants are also described as a compound which can act and function chemically as a reducing agents. A number of organic class of compounds like the ascovil palmitate, then anisole, butylated hydroxy toluene are commonly used in food and the pharmaceutical as well as in cosmetic industry. The various preservatives are added to the pharmaceutical dosage form to prevent the microbial growth and the spoilage of the preparation. Some of the preservatives do act by the antioxidation mechanism but other act by the different mechanisms. The inorganic type of antioxidants are basically act as a reducing agents. They are used in the pharmaceutical preparations containing easily oxidizable substances to protect them in their original form. The antioxidants are usually prevent the oxidation of active compounds and in place of it gets oxidized itself. Our next point is the ideal properties for the antioxidant. It should be a stable, it should be compatible, it should be a palatable, it should be neutral in nature, it should be non-toxic, it should be effective in low concentration, it should be physically stable, it should be chemically stable and it should be chemically inert. Our next point is the classification of the antioxidant. There are mainly two types of classification of antioxidant. First one is the organic antioxidant and second is the inorganic antioxidant. Let us see one by one. First one is the organic type of antioxidant. The variety of organic compounds are selectively act as a antioxidant come preservatives. Accordingly, the organic type of antioxidant are classified into four classes. First one is the quinol group. Example is tocopherols, hydrochromons, hydroxy comerans. Second one is the pyrogallyl group. Example is amyl gallate, n-propyl gallate. Third one is the amines. Example is cephalins and lecithin. And last one is the benzoic acid derivatives. Example is benzoic acid and esters. Our next classification is the inorganic antioxidant. As we have already seen, the inorganic type of antioxidant are basically act as a reducing agents. They are usually in the pharmaceutical preparations are containing easily oxidizable substances to protect them in their original form. Example like hypophosphorus acid, sodium metabisulfite, sulfur dioxide and sodium nitride. Next point is the selection of inorganic compounds. The most important criteria for the selection is activity. It should have a desired redox reaction which can be measured from a standard electrode potential and by the Nernst equation. The other consideration are that it should be a non-toxic, it should be physically and chemically compatible, it should be chemically inert, it should not pose any solubility problem in either its reduced or oxidized form. Next point is the mechanism of action. The mechanism of action of inorganic type of antioxidant is same, it is involved in the redox chemical reaction. In redox reaction, there is a transfer of electron from one compound to the other. Oxidation means the loss of electron from the chemical species and reduction means the gain of electron. The overall reaction can be shown like the oxidation plus electron, vice versa it gives a reduction. When the substances act as an antioxidant, it being a reducing agent, it get oxidized itself and prevent the oxidation of active pharmaceutical species. First monograph is the hypophosphorus acid. The molecular formula for the hypophosphorus acid is HP H2O2 in bracket H3PO2 and molecular weight is 132 gram per mole. Next point is the preparation. It is obtained by the decomposing the boiling aqueous solution of the calcium hypophosphate with the oxalic acid. It means when the calcium hypophosphate is react with the 
oxalic acid and when it get decomposes it forms an calcium oxalate monohydrate and the hypophosphorus acid with the water molecule alternatively it is prepared by the reacting calcium hypophosphate with the slightly excess of sulfuric acid next point is the properties it is colorless to slightly yellowish odorless crystalline solid at 17.4 degree celsius freely soluble in water next point is the uses it is used as an antioxidant it is used for the brain tonic it is used in ferrous iodine syrup it is used in hydro iodic syrup next point is the incompatibility in forms explosive mixtures with oxidizing agents for example nitrates and chlorates storage it should be stored in airtight container next monograph is the sulfur dioxide the molecular formula for the sulfur dioxide is so2 molecular weight is 64.0 g per mole and preparation is it is prepared by burning the sulfur in presence of the air next point is the physical properties it is a colorless non inflammable gas it has a suffocating characteristic odor of sulfur it is soluble in water and alcohol dry gas is neutral in reaction but it aqueous solution is acidic to litmus it can be liquefied below its critical temperature next point is the chemical properties when the sulfur dioxide gas is passed through the iodine solution it produces the hydro iodic acid and sulfuric acid it means when the sulfur dioxide is react with the iodine and the water molecule it forms an hydro iodic acid with the sulfuric acid next point is the uses it is used as a antioxidant it is used to prevent the oxidation of injectables stored in ampules and vials it is used in sugar wool industry it is used for the arresting the fermentation it is used for the fumigation of grains it is also used to fumigate by the burning sulfur candle it is used as a germicide and disinfectant it is used for the bleaching delicate cloth like silk wool etc it is used for the anti clot next is the storage sulfur dioxide gas is normally stored as liquefied gas under pressure and is a gas at room temperature and pressure incompatibility sulfur dioxide is stable as such only at moderate to strongly acidic ph next monograph is the sodium bisulfite the molecular formula for the sodium bisulfite is nahso3 and molecular weight is 104.66 g per mole next is the preparation it is prepared by passing the sulfur dioxide into a solution of the sodium carbonate until the so solution is saturated it means when the uh, sodium carbonate is react with the sulfur dioxide in presence of the water it forms a sodium bisulfate with the dihydrogen and sodium uh, carbon dioxide is released next point is the physical properties white crystals it has a odor of uh, so2 and saline taste it is a soluble in water and slightly soluble in alcohol next point is the chemical properties it is neutralizes uh, by the addition of acid to yield a sulfuric acid when the sodium bisulfite is react with the hydrochloric acid it forms an sodium chloride with the sulfuric acid next point is the uses it is used as a antioxidant and stabilizing agent it is used to solubilize the kidney stone it is used as a antiseptic in skin diseases it is used for the solubilizing dyes it is used in removing the permanganate stain it is used to so stabilize the epinephrine injection next is the storage store in dry cool place store away from extremely high or low temperature and the incompatible materials incompatibility it is incompatible with water acids alkalis sodium nitrite next monograph is the sodium meta bisulfite the molecular formula for sodium meta bisulfite is na2s2o5 molecular weight is 190.10 g per mole next is the preparation it is prepared by the saturating hot concentration sodium hydroxide solution with the sulfur dioxide gas and allowing the salt to crystallize out first the sodium bisulfite is formed which is decomposes to produce the sodium meta bisulfite the solution is filtered and the substance is recrystallized out next point is the physical properties 
Crystalline powder, taste is acidic, odor is sulfur dioxide. It is freely soluble in water and slightly soluble in alcohol. It acts as a strong reducing agent. It decolorizes a permanganate and the iodine solution. It act, the aqueous solution is acidic to litmus. Next point is the chemical properties. It is powerful reducing agent and on the exposure to air, the moisture is slowly oxidized to sulfate and therefore the required to be a stored in airtight containers. It is immediately converted to the bisulfide with which aqueous acid yields a sulfurous acid. It means when the sodium thisulfate is react with the water molecule, it forms a sodium bisulfide. That sodium bisulfide is react with the hydrochloric acid, it forms an sulfurous acid with the sodium chloride and that sulfurous acid it immediately converted into the sulfur dioxide with the water molecule. Next point is the uses. It is used as a preservative in ascorbic acid injection. It is used as an antioxidant in the preparation containing phenol and catechol. It is used as a food preservative. It is used for the treatment of skin disorder which is caused due to the some parasites. It is used to stabilize the injection containing salts of adrenaline or morphine. Next is the storage. It should be a tightly closed container protect from the light and incompatibility. It is incompatible with the oxidizing agents and thiamines etc. Next monograph is the sodium thisulfate. The molecular formula for the sodium thisulfate is Na2S2O3 5 times of H2O. Molecular weight is 248.18 gram per mole and synonym is sodium hyposulfite. Next point is the preparation. It is prepared from the soda ice, sulfur dioxide and sulfur. Soda water dissolved in hot water into which the sulfur dioxide is passed. The resulting solution is treated with the further quantity of soda ice which uh, then heated with the sulfur. The solution is concentrated and allowed to settle and then crystallize out. It means when the sodium carbonate is react with the sulfur dioxide in presence of the water, it forms an sodium bisulfate and the carbon dioxide is released. Then the sodium bisulfate is react with the sodium carbonate, it forms an sodium sulfate and with the water molecule and it get uh, remove the carbon dioxide gas. Then that the sodium sulfate is react with the sulfate, it forms an sodium thisulfate. Next point is the physical properties. It is a white crystalline powder. It has a cooling bitter taste. It is soluble in water and insoluble in alcohol. It is hygroscopic and deliquescent in moist air. It melts at 50 degrees Celsius. Next point is the chemical properties. First is aqueous solution decomposes on boiling. When the sodium thisulfate is decomposes, it forms a sodium sulfate. Next chemical properties. It act as a strong reducing agent and it reduces a iodine like when the sodium thisulfate is react with the iodine it forms a sodium iodate and the sodium tetrathionate third chemical property is it reduces the ferric salt to ferrous salt in acidic as well as in basic medium next point is the uses it act as an antioxidant it used as an antidote it is used in the treatment of ringworm and parasite infection it is also used as an anti chlor in bleaching operations and it is used as a reducing agent. It is also used as an antifungal and catheretic. It is used in the treatment of athlete's foot infection. Next point is the incompatibility. In acidic media, this precipitation may darken due to the formation of the respective sulfide. Next is the storage in well closed container away from direct sunlight. Next monograph is the nitrogen. The molecular formula for the nitrogen is N2 and molecular weight is 28.01 gram per mole. Next point is the preparation. It is obtained by the fractional distillation of the liquid air. Next is the physical properties. It is colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. It is non-inflammable. It is lighter than air, slightly soluble in water. It combines with the calcium, barium, etc. to form a respective nitrates. Next point is the chemical properties. Nitrogen is a very inert gas. It neither burn nor support the combustion of the ordinary combustibles. At higher temperature, it combine direct with the lithium, barium, silicon, 
barium calcium strontium and magnesium to the forms and nitrides next point is the uses it is used as a antioxidant it is used to remove the tumor during the surgery it is used in parenteral preparation to replace air since it is inert gas it is used to retard the oxidation in quantitative test for the carbon monoxide it is used as a diluent for the oxygen before administrating to the patients it is used in manufacturing of the ammonia nitric acid nitrates cyanides and explosives etc liquid nitrogen used in food freezing process and in laboratory as well coolant next point is the storage and labeling it must be stored under the pressure in gas cylinder tightly closed with its label next monograph is the sodium nitrate the molecular formula for the sodium nitrate is NaNO2 and molecular weight is 69.0 g per mole next point is the preparation the commercial method of manufacture consists of absorbing the nitrogen oxide gas and the oxygen into the sodium carbonate solution the solution is concentrated to crystallize out the product when the sodium carbonate is react with the nitrogen oxide it forms a sodium nitrite with the releasing of the carbon dioxide gas next point is the physical properties it is a white granular powder it is a saline in taste it is soluble in water and sparingly soluble in alcohol next is the chemical property the sodium nitrite is decomposes when the sodium nitrite is uh, react with the sulfuric acid it forms a sodium sulfate and nitrous acid that nitrous acid it decomposes it forms a nitric acid with the water molecule and nitrogen dioxide when that nitric acid it react with the oxygen it forms a nitrogen dioxide next point is the uses it is used as a antioxidant it is used in the treatment of cyanide poisoning it is used for the food preservative it is used to prevent the rusting of surgical instrument it is used in angina pectoris because of its causation vasodilation next is the incompatibility it is incompatible with the acetanil antipyrin phenazoin caffeine citrates chlorates uh, hypophosphate and permanganates etc next is the storage it is stored in airtight containers